Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I would like to read an article entitled "Maritime Laws of Bangladesh: Admiralty and Ship Arrest: A Complete Overview of Admiralty Law in Bangladesh." This post in details will, will explain maritime laws of Bangladesh, Admiralty and Ship Arrest, and everything about Admiralty and Maritime Law in Bangladesh that you need to know and be aware of. So what is Maritime or Admiralty Law? Maritime or Admiralty Law deals with marine issues and private maritime disputes. The ships, marine officers, law office consists of both national law on naval operations and private international law governing against independent individuals and ocean going ships working on eating. While each legitimate local usually has its own management overseeing maritime issues, significant advances, advances in universal maritime law, including various multilateral treaties, may be recognized by the law of the sea, which is a group of open global laws managing navigational right, mineral right, waterfront jurisdiction, and maritime link between countries. The United Nations Conventions on the Law of the Sea or UNCLOS was adopted by 167 countries and the European Union, and discuss discussions are settled at the ITLOS court in Hamburg. Maritime or Admiralty Law in Bangladesh The Admiralty Law of the, to, of the country is mainly governed by Admiralty Act of 2000. The law on Admiralty and Maritime Affairs can be traced back to the law of the Admiralty Courts of 1840. The Act was subsequently drawn up by the Admiralty Court Act 1861, the Court of Admiralty Act 1891, and the Admiralty Rules of 1912. Now in Bangladesh, the Admiralty Court Act 2000 deals with all issues related to Admiralty, Maritime Laws of Bangladesh, Admiralty, and Ship Arrest. Admiralty Court in Bangladesh The High Court Division of Supreme Court of Bangladesh has an original just as an original jurisdiction to deal with the cases of Admiralty. It extends the ships or vessels anchor anchor at any port of Bangladesh. The Admiralty Court shall have jurisdiction in regards to maritime laws of Bangladesh. Admiralty ship arrest to hear and determine any question or claim in relation to a the possessions of or ownership of a ship, b any question raised by the co-owners of a ship as to possessions, employment, or income of the ship c any claim in respect of a mortgage or charge on any on a ships or any share thereof d any claim for damages made by ship e any claim for damages made by ship f any claim for loss of life or personal injury sustained in consequence of any defect in the ship. G. Any claims for loss or damage to goods carried in the ship. H. Any claim arising out of any agreement relating to the carriage of goods in the ship or to the use of hire of a ship. I. Any claim in the nature of salvage of life from a ship, g. Any claim in respect of the wage of a ship or an aircraft, k. Any claim for forfeiture or condemnation of a ship or of goods. 
Board of Exercise The Admiralty Jurisdiction of High Court Division may be exercised in personam and actions in rem with some conditions. The Admiralty Jurisdictions of the High Court Divisions as the Court of Admiralty may be exercised through an action in rem against the ship, aircraft, or property. Institution of suit In actions or suit before the High Court Division shall be instituted by a plain drawn up, subscribed, and verified according to the Code of Civil Procedure 1980-198 as per sections 7 of Admiralty Act 2000 of the maximum court fee for Admiralty seats is Taka 1 lakh, except the claims per master or seaman for wages earned on board. Maritime laws of Bangladesh Admiralty and ship arrest. Maritime law in Bangladesh. Overview of ship arrest in Bangladesh. Bangladesh is one of the most advantageous arrest jurisdictions for reason, such as for example, Bangladesh is not a signatory to any arrest convention. The ship can be arrested in REM. The vessel can be arrested in person. The ship can be arrested for security. The ship can be attached even after the loss of navigability. The ship can be arrested for maritime ties as well as for maritime claims. PNI Club LIU LOI is not accepted for release of the vessel and the vessel is released upon furnishing of the bank guarantee. The High Court Divisions of the Supreme Court of Bangladesh exercise Admiralty jurisdiction under the law of Admiralty Court 2000 and the Rules of Admiralty 1912. Admiralty Rules provided a warrant for the arrest of property may be issued in the case of either the plaintiff or the defendant at any time after the sheet has been proved. But no warrant for the arrest shall be issued until an affidavit has been filled by the party or its agent and the following provisions have been complied with. The affidavit shall state the name and descriptions of the party at whose instance the warrant to be issued the nature of claim or counterclaim, the name and nature of the property to be arrested, and that the claim or counterclaim has not been satisfied. In a suit of distribution of salvage, the affidavit shall state the amount of the salvage money awarded or agreed to be accepted, and the name, address, and descriptions of the party holding the same. Process of application for arrest of a ship in Bangladesh. In order to file an application for the arrest of a ship, the applicant must initiate the suit by paying TK to one hundred thousand as fee of the court in a suite for which is TK is a charge by the court. 100 is required to be paid for. The plaintiff along with the document is to be filled in the sections or office of the court and the application for arrest of the ship is filled in the court. Usually, the application comes up with the daily cost list of the court on the following working day. However, if the court is satisfied with urgency of the matter it prepare a supplementary cause list and hears the matter on the same day. If prima facie case in the made out in support of the claim the court admits the sweet and direct issuance of summons. So the time is up and the article will be continued to read on the next video. So bye bye and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!